those who become are those who never settle. They know that there is always a better and greater version. Believers, in times of adversity, remember to anchor your faith in God's unwavering love and promises. Trust in His divine plan and find strength in His presence. May this message serve as a source of encouragement and reaffirm your unshakable relationship with Him. Remain blessed as you listen. Prayer is greater speed. Wisdom plus prayer is superior wisdom. Strength plus prayer is greater strength. Prayer amplifies everything. Don't stop at spiritual potentials. They are there, but fan them to flames. The prophetic is there. It will remain as a potential until prayer crushes everything and brings the wine out of it. One of the ways you make your calling and your election sure is by prayer. Pray. Parents, teach your children to pray. Don't just teach your children to study. Teach them to pray. Little wonder, the number one thing being fought in schools is prayer. Not yet study. Prayer. Let no day pass without you praying. There is no reason for it. Don't do it as a ritual. But please do it. No matter how busy you are. Once it's 6 o'clock. Or 7 or 8 or 9. Your mind tells you breakfast. Once it's 12 or 1 or 2 or 3. Your mind says lunch. Once it's 6 or 7 or 8. Your mind says dinner. Indoctrinate your spirit man. To be that sensitive. The moment is morning you know. It's like a register you need to sign. Listen let me tell you. When we started out. We never went to bed. Till we prayed. Once it was evening. 7 o'clock 8. Most believers already knew it was time to pray. It didn't matter what. Even if there was no corporate prayer. Our phone and social life was in a place of prayer. Once it's 6 30, 7, 7 38, you start seeing people one by one. You will see a tiny lady with her socks and her rechargeable playing one song. She's smuggling herself to one corner to go and pray. Later, you will see that girl come out. There, there were people who did this non stop for years. They didn't know they were powerful till the day they told them, Can you share in a little fellowship? As soon as they stood their fire, you don't do ministry by appointment. It was while they prayed and fasted that the Holy Ghost says, Separate, separate. Separation comes in the place of prayer. It was while they prayed and fasted, the Holy Ghost says, Separate. One week you've not prayed, you are all right. Three days you've not prayed you are all right two days you've not prayed it's okay no problem you know how nigeria is i will, I will pray the other time it's an attack you must trust god for grace to pray like i said many of us it's not like we're not praying but our prayer is largely warfare and demand warfare and demand so we get to the secret place with different requests oh god do this oh god do this oh god do this we just water it down with tongues five ten minutes and we're done that may not be bad but you are not going to be mighty that way you want to come up here you must spend time and time means hours it may not be the same capacity every day but the goal is consistency consistency let me tell you this if you pray the whole day and the next time you pray again is three weeks you will not grow did you hear what i said if you pray 10 hours one day because of a program or seven days of seven days prayer and fasting then the next time you really take out time to pray is two weeks you do it like that you will not grow 
the key is the constant connection constantly father we thank night we thank you because you are guiding us into your program into the place of power oh how we need your power how we need your grace a demonstration of higher dimensions of you that can crush and crumble the pride of men lord we ask that you will grant us grace to rise beyond our complacencies grant us grace to rise to higher dimensions we thank you for what you have done in our lives they call us champions but we call ourselves students hungry students desirous of more of you lord i pray that everyone tonight will receive a baptism of the grace for hunger a baptism of the grace for prayer in the name of jesus for those of us who have had our prayer lives go down and out i pray tonight let the call of the spirit rest upon your prayer life and find it back to flames in the name of jesus we thank you